many of us, the question is basically answered. We are married or in a religious life. And there's no any more ifs or buts. No more question about it. The church engaged a authority. We know our vocation. We know the duties resulting from his vocation. That's what you call the state of life. We need to be good parents, good husbands, good wives, good seminarians, good religious, good priests. Bear good fruits. And there is a danger. The danger that is at the door of every one of us, and I think we all fall in one way or another into this trap. We see sometimes people very generous with their time. They go visit the poor, prisons, hospitals. We see people giving charity to missions, to very worthy causes. But they don't care about their mother at home. They don't pay attention about their children. They will not give a hand to the neighbor of their pew. The danger is to do things that do, does not belong to our state of life. Why we despise our real duty. We give ourselves the impression to be so good, but in reality, we refuse our hand to God. In reality, we do what I want to do, not what God wants. And being a good tree, become wolves because we cannot do any good where God does not ask us to be. Saint Vincent de Paul said it is very difficult or even impossible to be saved in a place or in a state where God does not want us to be. It is impossible. A great felicity to be where God wants us to be and to be faithful to our vocation because the work of God is done not so much for the multitude of the workers but for the faithfulness and the fidelity of the few people. And Saint Francis de Sales said, we would have to be able to serve God in our kitchen. For oh, God is in the pots and pans that we add in the tools of your workshop, in the pens and pencil of your office, wherever. That means that we make our sanctification that the Epistle speaks about. We make our sanctification by being right there at the place where God asks us to be and to be where who we are or are to be. That's what is important. Simplicity, humility. Not everyone that says, O oh Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he is that though the will of my Father who is in heaven. He shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, we understand. We understand that indeed we have to cry loud and louder, Lord, Lord, and with all our heart, all our will. Let's pray more. But also, make silence and listen. God answers your prayer. God talks. He inspires you to do things, to go to work. He 
invite us to do, to work, to be his own hand right down here. So let's summarize into words. Prayerful action. Works that find its beginning, its power, its end. We feel our prayer life.